Lancashire. Wrapped in myth and legend, in folklore and fable and fairy tale. Stories that have been told across the ages, handed down from generation to generation. It seems that everywhere you turn, there is a story to be told. Take this place for instance, the keep at Clitheroe Castle. The big question on everyone's lips is who or what made the hole in the side of the keep? Some would say it was the devil himself who made that hole. Some claim it was a giant from the Nick of Pendle. Some say it was Oliver Cromwell who ordered a cannon to fire from the top of Pendle Hill. And others claim it was a dragon that made that hole. All of those stories could be true. All of them could be nonsense. But they're all stories worth the telling. Not far from where I'm sitting right now is the picturesque village of Bolton by Boland. Once home to a certain Sir William Pudsey. 500 years ago, Sir William Pudsey had it made. He was godson to Queen Elizabeth I, daughter of Henry VIII, and he was master of the horse for the Earl of Leicester. He was well connected, well to do, and well off. But it couldn't last. Sir William enjoyed a lavish lifestyle, enjoyed huge parties, flashing the cash. But it helped him run up a massive debt. He faced ruin. So imagine the surprise at the court of Queen Elizabeth when Sir William once more came into money. Those at court told a tale of Sir William finding a secret silver mine and congratulated him on his good fortune. But if you'd have spoken to anybody local, they would have told you a rather different tale. For they reckon that the silver that Sir William found was goblin silver. You see, back then, goblins and elves and fairies roamed the hills and forests quite freely, not like now. And apparently Sir William fell in with a family of goblins. As a gift, they gave him a silver bit and told him that whichever horse put the bit in its mouth would run forever and never tire. And they also told him of a secret location in the hills and that he should go there and dig and there he would find his fortune. Sir William duly made his way into the hills and at the very spot the goblins described, discovered silver, lots of it. Now that silver should have solved all his problems, but it didn't, it just made things worse. You see, Sir William got greedy and started minting or making his own coins, the Pudsey Shilling. Now, making your own coins was illegal then, against the law, as it is today. And when the Queen found out, she was very unhappy and sent guards to arrest Sir William. Sir William barely escaped out the back door as the guards crashed in the front door. He mounted his faithful steed, put the bit in its mouth and set off into the night with the guards in hot pursuit. But they couldn't catch him, couldn't get near him, because the horse had the magical bit between its teeth and soon left them far behind. He rode swiftly through the dark until he reached Rain's Scar, a 90-foot drop to the River Ribble and safety beyond. It was no leap for a normal horse and its rider would surely be killed but his horse was bewitched by goblin magic. And Sir William was desperate. So he urged the horse on, and the horse leapt into the darkness. But did Sir William survive the leap? Did he outrun the Queen's guards? Locals say he did. 
and rode off to set up a new life somewhere else. Who knows if the story is true? But it's a tale worth telling all the same. And hopefully one worth listening to. <laughs>